Hello everyone. It's lovely to be able to spend some time with you in this your form time. And I know you've got lots of things to cram into form time, so I'm not going to keep you for huge amounts of time, but I just wanted to share a few school messages with you. And to let you know how much we're missing you. We are open and we've got about 100 students in school at the minute. But the vast majority of you have not been in school since before Christmas. And I know are fully engaged with your learning remotely. Your teachers can't speak highly enough of how well you're doing in online learning. And it's just really lovely that we're able to stay connected with you in that way. But we have been busy while you've been away. I just wanted to share some pictures with you of the new building, the new sixth form building with the library and classrooms in it. And I'll just try and explain what's going on here. So this is, if you have a look here, this is the Skinner Centre and the English block. And then year 11, who've been in here all through the autumn term, and persevered with all that noise and building works going on. This is the building as it exists now. So you can see this is the door from by the Holcomb office, it takes you out across to the new building. The library, six on cafe, six on offices are all down this end. And then by the time it's opened, we'll have sorted out all the outside and obviously all the inside, because at the moment you can see that the inside isn't finished and there's plenty of electricians and joiners and plumbers all working incredibly hard to get the building ready, which is really, really exciting. But I hope you've been looking after yourselves and each other in this, what is a very difficult time of being away from your friends. I know you're with your immediate family, but we're social creatures. We love school, we enjoy being together and therefore not being able to be part of that and doing it in a remote way has been really tough for people and there's a lot of people that have been through personal challenge and personal difficulty and I do send my sympathies to any of you who've been directly affected as a result of Covid or even not as a result of Covid for family troubles that you have. There's a few quotes I wanted to share with you in, in this mental health week um, for young people and particularly thinking about how we are towards each other I know that you've received lots of information about how to manage yourselves on social media and you know you are majority really good at managing that very well but it's become such an important part of your lives in terms of staying connected that it can sometimes fall into a trap of not being maybe as kind as you would like to be saying things on social media that you wouldn't say in person and one really lovely piece of advice I heard yesterday about staying connected it's just the importance of picking up the phone and talking, not relying on messaging all the time, but talking to one another. And I know that a lot of you do that through um, different um, video platforms so that you can chat and see each other at the same time. So the three quotes I've, I want to share with you and just ask you for a little bit of reflection on um, either during form time or, or through the weekend and into next week. J.M. Barry, author of, of Peter Pan, Always be a little kinder than necessary. We talk at CNS about being kind, being kind to each other. And I like that quote because I think it always reminds us that we should always consider our kindness in our actions to each other. The second quote is linked to how you are managing your work. And don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. 18th century philosopher Voltaire it's been amended you like to don't let perfect perfection get in the way of good and I think that's a really good message and one that I hang on to quite a lot is that trying to be perfect all the time allows you never that sense of pride you always feel that you've, you've not been successful and actually good sometimes is good enough perfection cannot always be there what we seek in perfection is almost the unattainable so don't let perfect be the enemy of the good in the work that you're doing at the moment. And Captain Sir Tom Moore has been in the news ever so much and sadly passed away this week. But the, the quote that I'll always take forward from him, and I use quite a lot actually, in my own thinking and my own life, is tomorrow will be a good day. My today was all right, and my tomorrow will certainly be better. I think that's a wonderful way to look at the world. But today maybe wasn't the day that he wanted it to be, but tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow will be a good day. So a few quotes for reflection and ones that I think really resonate with us at CNS. 
I'm sure you're getting anxious and excited in equal measure about the return to school. This is what we know so far, and I'll keep you fully updated as things go. So we're working towards the date of the 8th of March. We're waiting for more government information. When we know more, we'll share more. We've been told we'll get two weeks notice on, on everything. So I'm hoping that when we come back after the half term break, there'll be a little bit more that we can do. There's some planning going on, but until I get firm information, I can't share that with you. But that's the date to have in your minds as when we will begin our return to school. For year nine, you'll be thinking about your preferences, your GCSE and other qualification choices. And there'll be an event on March the 4th, an online event. And you will also be receiving booklets in the post that will help you with that. So plenty of work is going on in anticipation of that for you. And year 11 and 13, I know we've been in touch around grading, but there isn't a lot to share at the minute. And that doesn't make you feel better because I know you want certainty. We do too. We've been told that grading information will be published on February the 22nd. We'll share plans after this date when we've got them ready for CNS. But in the meantime, you must keep working hard because you will be assessed and you will be graded. Those things we know. What we don't know is, is the shape of that. And so for year 11 and 13, it is absolutely critical that you keep attending, you keep completing the work that you've been set and you keep your aspirations nice and high. But remember that quote I said about don't let, perfect, don't let the perfection um, get in the way of good. Um, it's an important one to remember. So moving on. It's half term. We don't usually lose um, staff at half term. Usually it's, it's end of term that staff, if they're moving on to pastors, new leave us. But we've got two really important and um, long serving members of our school community leaving us at half term. And it's going to be really sad to not have them both um, around and working with them. And I am certainly, you know, have really enjoyed being able to work with both these colleagues. And I know that many of you have had close working relationships with both um, Mr. Sprake and Mr. Carpenter. And they'll be sorely missed by you and the wider school community. Mr. Sprake is going to be principal of Broadwood High School, which is a member of the Ormiston family. So we will... I certainly will continue to work with Mr. Sprake as part of Ormiston, um, and I know that other, other colleagues will, and some students may have the opportunity as well. Mr. Sprake, obviously PE teacher, he was a house leader, director of sixth form, and um, currently deputy head teacher. So he's been um, with us since 2010, joined the same year I did, um, and he will leave a, a very big hole in the CNS community when Mr. Sprake moves on, but we wish him very well. And Mr. Carpenter, our, our IT technician, has been here a little bit longer um, than that. And he will be retiring and looking forward to spending more time enjoying his passion of horse racing. Wonderful technician has helped us in all sorts of ways in keeping the school running, particularly in the last six months when technology has become even more crucial to, to learning. And uh, many of you know Mr. Carpenter through um, the Lunchtime Games Club that many of you attend and really value as a lunchtime co-curricular activity. So good luck both to Mr. Sprake and Mr. Carpenter, and we'll miss you both very much. So thank you everyone for listening. Continue to keep safe. Use this form time as a way of keeping connected and, and keeping in touch with one another. And make sure you have another excellent week. We've got another week till we break up for half term. Make sure you keep safe over half term. It's unlikely that the restrictions are going to lift this side. Um, we know that of, of the school holiday. So it is important that you maintain keeping safe. And then remote learning will resume as normal on the 22nd of February with your regular timetables in place. And it will be after this date that I'll come back to you with more information about our reopening. So thank you ever so much for listening, CNS. Um, we do, as I said, miss you great. We can't wait for us all to be back together. But thank you enormously for your um, remote learning, your learning if you've been in school, for staying positive, for all the messages of goodwill and thanks that we've received from you and your families. And I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Thank you and bye.